Rated T for Teen. Tonight on History Reimagined, we forge deep within the caverns of time to discover what would happen if Thrall had not escaped from Durnhord Keep. Orgrimmar? Never heard of it. For three weeks, I have been slowly gaining the trust of these fascinating creatures. The one I nicknamed Gurgles appears to be their leader. I think he rather likes me. No Magon News with news anchor Marley. Thank you for tuning in. Tonight's top story be crisis at a portal. Since the portal's reopening, multitudes of demons been poor and true. We put the horde and the alliance trying to push them back. On tonight's edition of Call Out, we talk to a demon expert, the warlock, and Cognito. We also have with us the self-proclaimed mouthpiece of the people, <sighs> Barley McFrogbeard. I say we round up all these red-eyed demon freaks and send them right back to Owen with their pointed tails between their stitchy legs. I think calling them demons is a gross generalization. Why does everything have to have a label? I mean, who made them the bad guys all of a sudden? Oh, they only want to destroy Azeroth, you flea-brained twit! <laughs> Nonsense. They're just misunderstood. Ah, they'll kill us all, you Shepherding buffoon! Oh, I suppose you can read their minds all of a sudden. Their demonic energy corrupts and destroys. I use demonic energy every day. I'm not corrupted. Your eyes are glowing. Well, I, uh, and I your have horns cataract. growing from your. Wait a minute! You're one of them, aren't ya? Well, that was a close one. <clears throat> uh, now, let's go on location to Wendy Breezy. How you doing, Wendy? Just super, Marley, thanks! I'm standing here with Commander Duran, who is leading the Alliance forces against the Burning Legion here at the portal. Mr. Duran, tell us how you're holding up against these unending waves of demons. Well, Wendy, I... What's it like to see your comrades gleefully dismembered by these marauding agents of evil? Oh, uh, yes, uh, oh, uh, oh, uh, yes. Comrades who are undoubtedly leaving behind death. Orphans and widows. Maybe we should. How long do you think this assault will last, given that the Legion is estimated to number in the millions? Sorry, but duty calls. Truly a man of few words. Wow, this is when. Got a commercial! Got to... Welcome back. We go now to our special environmental report with investigative journalist Spargo Greasecakes. Well, Molly, we've known about the venture company's disregard for the environment for some time now. <clears throat> but what you don't know is that there are new and sinister forces at work in Outland as well, in the tranquil ecosystems of Zanger Marsh. This large mushroom, for instance, is being robbed of its natural gifts. This unscrupulous pilfering has drastically changed not only the local ecology, but the economy as well. When as you can guess, want? many pro-environmental groups are not too happy about it. When do we want it? <laughs> I attempted to interview the ogres on the subject, but they simply played dumb. What ecology mean? Me smash you! Truly, Zangamash is a land beset by conflict. Its woes come not only from the ogres, but from the secret and sinister Naga as well. The Naga, those vile creatures, have begun draining the swamp's precious waters for some unknown purpose. Of course, we have vowed to stop them. Stop the draining! We caught up with a Naga spokesman who had this to say. Our environmental expert assures us that our activities in Zangamash are in no way harming the environment. Isn't that right, Mr. Sticky Fingers? Oh, I'm 
Unfortunately, it seems the evidence is clear. Unless the Zanarian Circle gets help, the region of Zanarosh may be you. Back to you, Marley! Shocking, Mon. In other news, a foul order swept across Shatra City and into Teraka Forest, sickening all the victims in its path. Oh, never in all my days in Outland have I smelled such a terrible stench. We have refugees from all over in this city, so the light only knows where this noxious odor is emanating from. We do know this much. It is silent, and it is deadly. Strongbone was wondering, has anything like this happened before? The only time we had a stench like this, Tobias had whipped up some sort of a rare delicacy. <sighs> I don't know what might be causing this alleged odor. <clears throat> But it would have to come from an object so rare and so <coughs> foul. Kind of like this rotten Arakoa egg here. It's unique in that it... Excuse me. It's a complete and total burn for Roma. Run for your lives! The last time I seen something like that was at a level 7 ETC concert. Well, that concludes our broadcast. This be Enka Mali and that be the news. <laughs>